It's opening day of deer season. You've waited all year for this day. You've just parked your truck. It's pitch dark and it's 15 degrees outside. You've just walked outside and while you notice that everybody has been is still asleep at about 4.30 in the morning, you're walking as quietly as you can out to your hunting location to spend the next five hours hunting with no movement and just silence. Why in the world would anybody want to do this, you might ask? Well, to many, deer hunting is more than a sport. It's a way to feed their family and also to ensure a healthy deer population. There are many benefits to those involved in the hunting. However, many individuals and animal rights groups portray hunters as basically cruelty to animals but the truth is, hunting is an essential part of life. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the benefits for the environment and also the benefits for the economy, for the U.S., and then also the benefits for the hunter himself. First I'd like to get started with the benefits for the environment. There are many problems due to the overpopulation of deer. The first one is on According to CarAccidents.com, deer are responsible for 1.5 million car accidents and $1.1 billion in uh, damage to vehicles annually. I actually have a personal experience with this, I'm sure like many of you do. When I was 19 years old, driving on a country road in Kentucky, I came across a deer, uh, jumped out in front of me, I hit it. Um, luckily, I wasn't uh, hurt or killed and somebody oncoming traffic wasn't if I tried to swerve and miss it. It was just the deer that, you know, uh, got hurt, but it's very dangerous. And then also there's another problem with the overpopulation of deer would be to the farmer's uh, crop loss and also personal damage for the personal property that they uh, will give you. Now, the according to the article, stored crop loss due to deer consumption found on the Wildlife Society Bulletin, deer cause an estimated $100 million in crop loss annually. So basically the deer are taking money right out of the farmer's pocket by eating their crops all day and all night if there's too many of them. And hunting is a great management tool to decrease the overpopulation of the deer, obviously. Um, and by doing this, uh, each state allows, gets together and before each year they want to achieve a certain number as their goal for that year of deer taken so they can have a healthy deer population. And by doing this it would obviously minimize the crop loss damage and also the deer related accidents. Now that I've talked to you about the benefits of the environment, I'd like to talk to you about the uh, benefits of the economy uh, due to hunting. The hunting helps boost the United States financial economy, obviously, bottom line. The article Economics of Wildlife Recreation found on the South Dakota Game, Fish, and Parks website states that hunting generates $25 billion in sales annually. And the article also states that the recreation of hunting creates 593,000 jobs. The way that the economy is today, that's a blessing to be able to create all those jobs. The money spent by hunters actually goes back into the wildlife restoration projects. Through the Pittman-Robertson Act, hunters have to pay an excise amount of tax uh, if they purchase any type of hunting equipment and that goes right back into the wildlife restoration. The article, Pittman-Robertson Act, Friend of the Hunter and Hunted, found on the National Rifle Association Institute for Legislative Action, said that the act generates $150 million annually, uh, and many species including ducks, geese, elk, deer, antelope, uh, and also wild turkey and many others have now been taken off of the endangered list due to that act. Now that I've talked to you about the uh, benefits of the economy, I'd like to now get into the benefits of the actual hunter 
himself. Deer hunting teaches many skills that are uh, valuable in life. Hunting also teaches patience, it teaches ob observation, respect for nature, and commitment. It increases the environmental awareness by studying the habits uh, of the deer and also the uh, for many, many hours, you're going to study the, the habits of the deer, the trails that they are taking, and you're trying to learn about them. And then also, um, the hunting is beneficial to the hunter's family. Um, first of all, now by hunting, you have great one of the healthiest meats on the table, and you can not only eat it for one meal or two, you can eat it for many meals. And this... Uh, for my family, it usually lasts us all year round, honestly. And then also, uh, another benefit for the hunter and the family there is if a parent were to take the child out hunting, it is um, an invaluable lesson. They can get outside and learn um, the great outdoors and respect the nature and everything there. And like I mentioned with the adult hunters, uh, it will teach the children patience and observation, but it will also teach them to be uh, content sitting in the outdoor environment for uh, many hours and they will grow to love it instead of them being inside locked up all day playing video games or uh, some type of electronic which the fast-paced world lives with today. Uh, now I'd like to go over what I shared with you today. Um, hunting may not be for everyone but now that I've shared with you the benefits of the environment also the benefits of the uh, economy and the hunter and the hunter's family himself, um, I hope that you would take a look at the benefits that are served by hunting. You do not have to support hunting yourself, but I s just hope that you would keep an open mind that every deer hunter is not a cruel animal killer. Thank you for letting me share with you one of, some of the many reasons why I support deer hunting.